we really appreciate you guys watching us. I'm just here to help, you know, share my experience. And if it helps you guys out, that's awesome. You know, I'm, we appreciate it. I appreciate all the subscribers. We've been doing some, um, you know, we're up to like almost 3,000 subscribers and we really appreciate it. Um, I'm just here to help you guys out. And, you know, not really for self-promoting my business, but more so to help, you know, you guys succeed in starting your dumpster company or any company for that matter. So really, I appreciate you guys watching really from the bottom of my heart and I appreciate it. And hopefully I'm helping you guys out. Yo, it's an exciting day, guys. So the office, bam, we have sheetrock. So the guys were here yesterday, they got finished hanging. They were here for a few days. We got this whole studio to ourselves. One, two, three workstations for the studio. The other side of the wall, we have a, a preview TV for the videos. Over here, we have all our Cat 6 coming down. We have our RG6 for the cable for the TV. And we have all this for the high speed internet for the raw files that we're gonna be using. We're gonna start editing in um, ProRes raw. We're all juiced up with our Cat 6. We're excited, this is happening. A real big step for the, uh, for the studio. It's summertime, man, and I'll tell you what, it's, good, it's tough to keep up in the summertime. I can always tell when things are really busy. When you're busy on the phone, the people call you and they don't even ask price, they just want a dumpster at any cost, so to put it, that's figure of speech. That means that the other dumpster companies are running on a backlog of let's say a week. If someone calls you and they're like, I need a dumpster and they barely ask the price, or they just want basically a dumpster as fast as you can, that means that the other dumpster companies that they're calling, if they didn't call you first, are running on a backlog. So if they call you and they're like, hey, I need a dumpster right away, uh, that means the other dumpster companies are telling them probably three, four days out and they're just aggravated. I don't raise my prices. I keep my prices the same. I feel like we're happy with our pricing structure. It is a flex price. We will alter the prices a little bit, but I won't like, you know, throw a hundred dollars on a dumpster or anything like that. I'll just basically keep the prices the same. Prices might fluctuate between winter and summer and they are flex rate, but we'll keep them pretty much the same. Having different prices at different times of the year kind of sucks because of keeping it straight. People, people want to know what they're paying if they use you all the time. I'm going to show you how easy it is to tarp with one hand. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. One-handed tarper. Let's see if we could do it. Oh boy. There you go. There you go, I got it. Get this tarped up, take it to the dump, be good to go. No helping, Matt. I'm gonna tarp this with one hand. This is gonna be fun to edit, edit this right here. This is gonna be like the impossible edit. Tarping with one hand, shake it. This is gonna put the GoPro at the ultimate test. We, the lady, she's nervous. She's moving her car. She doesn't trust us. She thinks we're gonna hit her car. She doesn't realize I got the hook truck. <sighs> Bam, first one. She was moving her car. So now she moved her car. Instead of moving the car out of the way, she moved her car in the way. <laughs> she came out. She was worried about her car, but now she moved the car behind my truck. Instead of even at where it was, I could have been a little safer. That's all right, she's trying to be helpful. She's worried about her fancy Camry. Looks like a new car. A cord, what am I thinking? She's a nice lady, she just doesn't want to get her car hurt. All right, let's try to get this thing going, man. Get 
this dumpster carved up. Hey, where'd the bungee go? Am I crazy? I'll put two bungees on the back instead of on the front. Because that's a tarp with one hand. Look, my rent me signs are no more rent me sign. It says rent me. Used to. Uh, I'm gonna go. That's a white, that's a white square. Yes, it is. It's a white <laughs> square now. It says rent me though. It used to say rent me. Yo, we got a crane action going on over here. Matt, let's go check out the crane. doing a job right now for a guy he's doing a really big roofing job and we are gonna be running some really heavy dumpsters for him and what that means is, is you get so much weight with your dumpster and then you pay for the dumpster you know the weight that you go over now you could it could either be one ton that you get with the dumpster or some people give five tons but then you have to you know adjust the prices of your dumpster so it has to be make sense for the customers we're gonna be running like 10 dumpsters for them what we're gonna be doing is is we're gonna be make, sending him an email every time because you know by the end of the job this could be you know like a ten thousand dollar job so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it real straight so when you get involved with one dumpster paperwork is less important to keep it legal in other words if you have one dumpster and you know it's for a mom and pop and they're cleaning out the house you know you might have three hundred and fifty dollars invested into the project it's not the end of the world if there's a discrepancy but when you have multiple dumpsters going out like we're gonna have 10 dumpsters, we're gonna document the time, we're gonna document the weight, and we're gonna document the cost. And we'll do that on every dumpster on the bigger jobs. So at the end of the job, when he says, oh, I only had you know, five dumpsters or six dumpsters, that you know, they're actually making sense. It's important that when you get involved with the bigger, with the bigger contractors and they're, you know, to keep your paperwork straight. Our office does a phenomenal job. She knows every dumpster on the job on every job so and i'll go over that with you guys we'll give you an inside look when we get the new office set up on how the girl does the scheduling that's going to be a really cool inside look on how we do scheduling and how we take orders hey when you guys are running it into the um chipper i'm gonna get some shots of it chipping that bitch saw so some cool video we just picked up a, a street drop over in um eastern part of pennsylvania that dumpster on the street. We don't like putting dumpsters on the street so much. We rather, if it was in your driveway or in a driveway, it's just a little, you know, less liability. Someone, I had a dumpster out on the street about three years ago and someone actually ran into it. Then they tried calling me and telling me that I was responsible for them hitting my dumpster that was on the street with a permit with reflectors on it. So it's just so much easier, like to just put the dumpsters in a driveway. A lot of people will tell you to put dumpsters anywhere. I prefer only to put dumpsters, and we have a pretty strict rule that we put dumpsters on blacktop driveway or gravel. We don't put dumpsters in, in dirt. What could happen is if you're picking a dumpster up, one of the tires could dig in and the other one may stay on the surface and that dumpster could come off the rails. We try to keep all of our dumpsters on blacktop or on hard pack. We have some cool video of, um, I think it's called Straub Tree Service. We'll put them in the video. We're gonna link them down there. There's some cool dudes. They were they were like more than happy to you know have us videotape them. It was pretty cool. They had a pretty big crane. I forget the name of the crane company. We'll put that in the um, description Bandit, as well too. Bandit? Bandit? No, Bandit was the chipper. Anyway, we'll put it in the description and you can check it out. So we got we got a pretty cool crane shot in there. That crane was pretty pretty far out there. I bet you he was really limited on what he could pick up at that at that reach. He probably had it out 300 feet. That chipper was badass. The jaws on that thing would eat you alive in like five seconds. I, I couldn't believe the size of the, the tree branches that they were putting through there. It had to be a 24 inch capability.
Yeah, just give it to those guys too. Give it to the crane guy too. We'll put him his company on there. You guys can check it out. Well, thanks for watching today. Like I said, we took you along on a street drop. We're gonna put together us actually going through our day, you know, taking orders and so on and so forth. So our content that we're gonna be giving you guys is really gonna kick it up. We got some new equipment that we're doing. Right now, we're just a little bit limited on what we could do because the the, um, the studio is, is being worked on. But we're excited, man. We're here for you guys. We're here to help you learn. We want to answer people's questions and you know we really you know we really appreciate you guys watching us